Hello, uh, I'm Rida Shamil, an editor with The Fifth Estate. And today with me, I have uh, Kalyan Jake, who is contesting for the post of uh, Hostel Affairs Secretary. So your first question is, complaints about the mess food, be it poor nutritional value, taste and monotony have been recurrent. Do you think the large scale at which the mess food is prepared would inevitably lead to this? Or can steps be taken to address these? So at first place, I feel the mess menu is not at a good standard. And second thing is that the chefs are not familiar with the menu that we have designed because most of them are from the eastern part of the India. And so I would uh, take initiatives to change the mess menu as per the convenience of the regions like either South Indian and North Indians and we'll bring the chefs who, uh, like for the South Indian chefs, South Indian mess menu and for North Indian chefs, North Indian mess menu. And also, uh, it is not because of the large scale. So, and the thing is that uh, we have uh, very less strength in the uh, MMCC and also the stakes haven't played the efficient role, either the Warden Council or the HHS of respect to hostels. Uh, your next question is, as we have seen in the past few, few years, having prevention measures of the spread of contagious diseases is vital. In this light, how do you think INSTI can be a more cautious place? And do you think there's anything that can be planned to ensure this? So the main reason for the spread of contagious disease can be due to the water. So we have the very old water plant currently and now we are almost like closing the Tapti water plant and coming up with the new water plants. And the second thing can be with the food quality. So also uh, like we have since we have very less strength in the MMCC, we couldn't manage uh, the uh, food quality and the third thing is uh, we have a very new councils after three years so HHS and Gensec have played the least story is what I feel and even CCW is uh, the CCW council is very new after three years so even they need to have a uh, good experience in managing yeah. okay uh, so the general maintenance of hostels is an important role of the HAS what is your opinion on the current grievance redressal system and what can be done to improve it okay so uh, the current establishment b charge is 2000 until then it was only 1500 which was very less uh, to have a good maintenance in the hostel so 1500 for all the hostel council uh, and getting and the amount getting for the sgs is very less hgs is very less so uh, i think increment of this establishment b charges will help the general maintenance of uh, every hostel and also uh, we'll uh, form committees with SGS, uh, HGS and HHS and we will get the feedbacks regularly and we will look into the issues. So in your manifesto you have uh, mentioned about the introduction of provision of food for six students. Can you elaborate more on how this is going to work, both from the students and the caterers perspective? How would this differ from the provision of food uh, during the COVID period? How feasible is the delivery to each hostel, regardless of the number of students that are sick? So the patient can inform the HHS or HGS in absence of HHS and the HHS will be forwarding the message to caterer and the caterers will already have the delivering people and they will deliver it to the room. So here HHS as per the constitution rule is already a member of MMCC. So he is uh, responsible to work in this. And uh, second thing is this will be helpful for the people who feel that they need not go to hospital but still uh, feel that the food to be delivered to their room. Uh, and uh, students who are requesting more than two times will be advised to consult a doctor by HHS. Okay, uh, what present problems would be uh, would introducing a media sphere to HAS solve? Uh, and can you elaborate on what kind of media activities this sphere is going to handle? So media team will be helpful to do a good publicity of MMCC and CMGFS and also activities under has. So this will be helpful only to do publicity under uh, publicity but not to cover the events under has. So this will be limited to a, a mobile photography and uh, we already have uh, two coordinators as media under media in each and every team. Uh, we are just separating it as a separate team to do a good publicity. 